Hi, this is Tyler Ruby. I'm here in Fenton, Michigan in our shop, standing in front of our Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, and we're going to show you how to install Black Forest products today. We've got our surround here. Base plate's already installed, and let's start unboxing this so that way we can put it together. We have here on the table all the um, core parts for the security surround. This is box number two for the security surround. As you, as you open up each of these flaps, you want to reach under and grab that, that uh, next part so that way it doesn't slip on you. Just keep on working your way back like an accordion. Here are all the parts uh, from the second box. We've got our driver's side, our passenger side, and then the closeout panel as you see it as you go to and do the install. So we have these protective uh, caps that we'll go ahead and install now. And these, these protect your vehicle's paint and they also help um, reduce rattle as, when you go to do the install. What we're going to do here is take these side wings, we're going to lift up this front pass-through plate, bring both of these side wings up, and we'll just align these holes, you can see here, on the outside, and then we'll put the three retaining bolts in on both sides. Thanks again, Brian, for your help. No problem, glad I could be help. So you can do this alone, but it sure makes it a whole lot easier if you grab a friend or a neighbor or, or whomever can lend a hand. Just to, just to balance the awkward panels. And... So make sure that the side panels go on the outside of the box, not the, not the inside of the box when you go to, to bolt it together. This rubber protective strip already comes pre-installed on this round. Um, that's to protect your gear. And this is perfect if you're, if you're hauling skis, golf clubs, or, or whatever else um, that you want to put in your Wrangler. So just to show you, we're not going to be using this today. We will leave our, our opening here in the security surround. But for people who want to close out their security surround and not leave this pass-through, we included these thumb nuts and this closeout plate. It's important little, little trick is to install the thumb nut first on the driver's side. Again, this is the driver's side of the vehicle. If you install these first two on this side, then you can use the, the thumb nuts that are already in now installed as your locator when you go to put on the plate. From there, I would then come up you know, through the front to then install the remaining thumb nuts. We'll go ahead and skip this step because we're gonna leave it open. So next, we're gonna go ahead and put on the surround lid. And again, it's good to have your friend, neighbor, or whoever else you can grab. It's easiest if you put on the rear of the surround lid first and then work your way towards the front. It'll self-locate that way. All right, here we are at the opening of the surround, the pass-through opening, and this again, this is the front of the vehicle. So we'll just install these bolts like, like normal, like the others, um, and then I'll show you a trick on the sides. These first three bolts at the front of the security surround, don't tighten them down all the way because we still need to install the side bolts and you'll want some, some movement, some play in these when you go to install the side. For the side bolts, you want to reach from the inside and tighten the bolts going to the outside of the, the surround. Brian's tightening the one side, I'm tightening the other. We're tightening, tightening them down. Also included in your kit are two types of grommets, a closeout grommet and then a pass-through grommet. The closeout grommet is obviously to close out whatever um, holes are not being used. And then of course the pass-through grommet is to then pass through a power cord for the fridge or whatever else you need to pass through. Depending on your vehicle, You'll either want to use the lower pass-through hole or the upper pass-through hole depending on where your outlet is located. Also here we have our P-clip, um, which if you're installing the fridge freezer, 
then you'll want to in install this. If you're not running a fridge freezer, then this part is optional. And here's the mounting location on the outside, but you'll need to install this from the inside. Now the bolts are nice and tight, we're gonna go ahead and carry this over to the Jeep. So this, is, this isn't too heavy, but it is bulky and awkward, so certainly helpful to have two people. Let's set this down into place, just somewhat align these holes on each side, and we'll actually begin locking this down by starting with the front, the front bolts up here in the pass-through plate. Okay, so now that we've aligned the holes to the front base plate bracket, I'm just gonna go ahead and start finger tightening these, uh, these bolts into place. I'm only gonna do these finger tight just because we have to align the rear, rear bolts to the holes as well. We'll start on each side. And we just kind of move this around with just the finger tight. As Tyler's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down, not completely tight, just enough so there's still a little movement. But we, at, at the end, we'll have to be able to shift this around so we can adjust each side. So now that we have all the bolts in place securing the surround top to the base plate, I'm just gonna double check and make sure everything's still loose so later when we do our final adjustment, everything's okay. Uh, next, we're gonna install the side wings. Uh, we'll start with the driver's side. And um, it's important to pay attention to the sport bar surround here. What we're going to do is, is give it a nice even gapping um, around the surround. But this will close out um, the side of the surround and you just set it there, rest it there, and then thread your, your uh, bolt through. And one thing to note, Tyler, on these, um, notice that this previously installed cap is covering up an oblong hole. These oblong holes will actually align with your mounting locations for your OE hardtop. This is in case you want to do the optional um, install and you can bolt this entire surround kit directly to the hardtop hardware. So that is an option. At this point what we're going to show you is our rubber safety cap and it's just going to tap down into the normal location. Okay, so now that Tyler has installed the rear portion of the driver's side wing, I have the front section. And it's, it's critical that you make sure you install the, the rear first because these tabs will actually go underneath that rear, rear closeout. So when we install this, put the tab under here, notice that it follows right underneath in a nice clean fit. Maybe something to note as well at this point in time while he's torquing this down. Just remember this, this point around the surround or the sport bar is not critical just for the fact that we spoke about earlier. We'll adjust everything once everything's put in place. So for the two-door version only, because we're not using the rear seats, the seat belts obviously are not used as well. So there's two different options. You can either take the seat belt and not necessarily pinch it, but put it right near the sport bar and lock it down between the front and rear closeout panels as you're doing the installation, just as such here. So that would be the final product. Or you obviously still have the option of putting the closeout panels together and just leaving it in the front. That is your choice. I'm going to hold this in place as Tyler starts our bolts. So Tyler, I mentioned earlier um, just to finger tight these, uh, these surround bolts to the base plate. And the reason is now that we have all the covers in, or the wings in, we're going to just try to get a nice even gap around the support bars. So we can just simply move it around until it's a nice even gap. Nothing's touching so we don't damage any bezels. And then we'll go ahead and torque these down. As Brian is torquing these down, um, now everything is nice and tight. The base plate is, is tight to the floor. The surround walls are, are tight to the base plate. The wings are tight. Everything is, is nice and solid. There's two more steps. If you are installing the fridge freezer, we have that P-clip that I mentioned earlier which we'll install here on the passenger side. And then we also have the closeout panel 
that will also install again on the passenger side. For now, I'm going to go ahead and leave these two items out, the, the P-clip and the, pass, uh, the closeout panel. And after we install the fridge, then I'll go ahead and, and put these two pieces in. So now your security surround is, is in place and nice and you can, you can use this space however you need it, depending on what gear you end up um, using. Um, there's plenty of space in here and then we also have this kickstand that pulls down and adds a nice firm rigidity to the lid. Remember we talked about the pass through earlier and this is where it comes into play. Any long item that you have, skis, golf clubs or whatever else, just slip right on through and keep all your other gear nice and secure in your security surround. Ha, 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 ha.